Good evening, YouTube. This is your man, George Page, a.k.a. The Perfect Sage, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, it's, it's evening time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for The Perfect Sage to come out. <laughs> and as you know, it's not that we have a countdown to the exodus of fun and free content on YouTube. As you know, YouTube is um, decided to um, they will cut out a lot of um, channels and other things and programs that's been on for a while because of the fact of it's about making money. And I think I'm one of you, your boy right here is probably one of those people because the fact is I've, that my stuff is not what you call ad representative. But anyway, this lady before you is one Miss Irene Anderson. And Miss Anderson has been uh, competing as a female body for over 20 years. Now, you know, a short synopsis about Miss uh, um, Anderson. She was born uh, September 9th of 1966 in Denmark. Now, amazingly, that makes her 53 years old. At the age of two years old, her family moved to Sweden. As a young girl, she was eerie into sports and fit, physical fitness. She decided, you know, to focus on, you know, athletics and all that other stuff. And then, which get her probably into a career into female into female bodybuilding. Now, um, I don't have much information about prior to her um, competition years, but in 2003, she gained her pro card and then you know, made her first appearance. I think it was, uh, she did a couple of shows, such as the uh, Europa, um, Atlantic City Pro, um, Jantana, I think, and also several other bodybuilding shows that, that was connected, that had female bodybuilding added to it. Uh, also, um, she is, uh, surprisingly, one truth about her, she is a mother of three children, and also a grandmother. And that's surprising. A lot of people don't, like, this is still, like I said again, most people don't think that female bodybuilders can have children. You know, and quite often some do. Some might have them before the career, some during the career, some even after careers. But that's just one of the things that, of of life. You know, you want to be a mother. You want to have children. You want to settle down. And I know there's quite a few bodybuilders who don't have children, female bodybuilders that don't. But there's many that do. And I think this year at the uh, Wing of Strength, majority of the women that were on the stage were mothers. Some had two, three kids. Some had, you know, one. But, you know, there were maybe a lot of women who are there who were mothers. But anyway, back to Miss Irene Anderson. Now, Miss Anderson has been competing over 20 years as a female bodybuilder. And um, just recently, um, she uh, put out a documentary. And I'm telling you, the documentary, Too Big for the World. Now, this is about the documentary she started about, about the uh, end of um, 2015, 2015. 20, um, 2014, 2015. After um, 2013, when the... Um, IFBB decided to drop female bodybuilding when um, the, the international Miss Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, classic decided to drop the Miss International in 2013 and then 2015 when they announced there was going to be no more female bodybuilding at the Olympia. So Irene decided to go on a like a of a more of a uh, a, a, of a challenge of why is this happening? Why is female bodybuilding getting stabbed by the back by the IPB? Um, at one point, if you ever see her video, um, her, her documentary, that she even went to um, the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic and doing a press uh, meeting, she uh, talked to Arnold, asking why, you know, why is it no longer uh, female bodybuilding to to no longer feel about to be a part of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. And uh, I, I remember he said something, whatever, I forgot. I, I only seen some clips here and there of the, of the um, documentary. And um, this past um, September at the uh, um, Olympia weekend, she um, they had, a, you know, there was the um, Power and Grace Expo, which was uh, supposed to be the uh, forthcoming of, of uh, Feel About to Back to the Olympia. And she, there was a, a showing of her um, a documentary, um, um, too, um, too, too big for the world, and um, I would like to see it. Also, I will when I finish my um, my um, video, I'm gonna put the website in um, in the description. And if you feel like you want to check it out, because like I said, you can buy it, we can rent it, and check it out. You know, just watch it, and you know, listen to Miss um, Anderson, her thoughts, how he, how she feels of how few about it is treated. But anyway, um, um, Irene is a very, very huge woman, a very attractive woman. She has a main set of eyes, ain't gonna lie. And like I said, she is very, she is like I would say, a, a, a true living legend. And she has co created friendships and and um, and um, and also a lot of uh, respect in the sport of female bodybuilding. And also, she's one of the women who's still fighting for the sport. As you know, um, as I said before again, there are so few women who are still fighting for it. Even those who have made a career or a life out of it, who made themselves legends, like, you know, 
I've, you know, other than maybe just so many, like I said, there's quite a few female bodybuilders who have shows, you know, retired, who have their own shows, but do not have female bodybuilders a part of the shows. And I think Irene, I could see her being one of those people that if she ever retires and creates her own show, she would have female bodybuilders attached to it. But Irene is an amazing woman and she's fighting for the sports that she loves. And, you know, that's what you got to respect for for that. Where it's a hard time where female bodybuilders are getting a very, a lot of, you know, getting just disrespected being called that you're, you you want to be a man and uh you know just there's no love for them from the regular you know everyday you know john q but you know as a as a me being a, a lover and a fan of the female body building in the sport i support anything that is associated with it anybody who wants to fight for it and that's why i'm doing this video about irene anderson because she gives a lot of respect and she remembers where she came from how she started and it's just so few that remember what got them where they are today. And she owes that to female bodybuilding. But like I said, Miss Anderson is an amazing woman. She is in great shape. And I would say for a woman at 53, I would tell you if I, if you think she's 53, I would think she's 40. If not, you know, in her late 30s. But like I said, you know, is the person she's gonna say, I mean, <laughs> tan, fit, and tight. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed the page, like, subscribe. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm out.